Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, what we have here today are some more knives sent by Toby and family. Thank you. Um, these two are Joker knives, which are pretty cool. And then this one, I've never... I had a knife like a sickle for doing yard work, but I've never had a knife like this. It's got this little guard protector thing on it that's because i would think you know just looking at it that the edge would be down here but this is completely flat and, and there's a grip here so the edge is on this side and it's called a dexter sandy safe it looks like something you would scrape with but if your hands slip you're completely protected because this is a dull edge, and if your thumb goes off here, there's no there's no blade that you're gonna hit. So it's like a, a work knife, you know, that instead of pulling towards you, it looks like it's designed to push away. I've never seen, I've never had a, a knife like this, but I've had a, uh, situations where I wish I had something like this. It's made in USA. And this is a, a plastic handle. And there's a tang in there. I don't know how far it goes. I don't have a really try a magnet. <laughs> kind of figure out something here. That's what I like about the little baton ones. I like this other O light that I'm using. I use it a lot because it's just um, rechargeable. You know, I like that too. But it doesn't have a magnet. It's got tail switch. I carry both of them. That's how you figure out stuff. What's your favorite? But I like the magnet capability on all this stuff. Because see, bam. You know, that's metal. And you can have a light going sideways. But, man, it, it's hard to tell. I don't feel anything past, like, right there. Who knows how far that goes back. But, like I said, if it's going to break... It, it, this part would come back on your hand and that doesn't have an edge on it this is what it came with so if you were professional you'd probably have a leather sheath or something because that's kind of flimsy up there I think, I think it only goes in one way goes in one way properly goes in more than one way in properly All right, let's put our little clip back on it There. There you happy. I guess you could set more of these up here, you know, if you really were trying to protect it. But yeah. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Um He also sent I'm just gonna go quickly over these things. This it's um stormproof match kit. So it's got twenty five matches. And it says it's a waterproof case with three replaceable strikers. 25 stormproof matches, windproof, waterproof, burns up to 15 seconds. This is uh, in French. Evec. Keep out of the reach of children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so there's a striker right there. And then there's a rubber old seal here. This is um. I was whittling my worries away, and I whittled a blister on my hand. Not from a knife, but from holding the rough pine and everything. Man, you can get a blister quick. Now, this is what it came. It came with cotton. See, they already knew. They already knew about cotton. And uh, here's your matches. We're not going to spark one up yet. But see, this is what makes them burn a long time. Because you got a long stick of burning stuff. So you've got wind and rain. Yeah, Gizmo and I were conversing back and forth and um, talking about, he was saying, uh, yeah, there's a difference between sparking up a fire in a garage or, you know, in a, in a house or a tent or anything that's protected and being out in the wind and the cold and the rain. And But I think if just you're play, even if you're just playing around, 
learn how to spark up a fire with a ferro rod. It's better to learn under easy conditions <laughs> than it is in a... You don't have to train the hard way a lot of times. You can learn something if you do it. Um, but let's look at this joker knife now too. So we got that and that. And then this, before we get into this joker knife, he sent me this Lixada. And man, I'm telling you, this thing folds up flat. And it's got this little pin that holds, you know, the two little plates in here. But I was always thinking it was going to go like this for like holding a trangy or something. And this would be like your grill plate. But no, this is actually the bottom. And it's kind of, you know, um, rectangular a little bit, you know, so that it'll only fit one way. Man, it's like a Chinese puzzle to figure out at first. Everything is hinged except for one little area where you slide this pin in and uh man it folds up flat so you can use it for alcohol Let's see if you can see it. it's a y2400 of course i recognize that right away but yeah these can work for like little sticks and stuff and the thing that's good about having one of these is um the only other way when if you're going to make a fire out in some place you know, like forest and stuff. You don't want to set the forest on fire. So you scrape a place off, and then you put sticks and stones. I mean, you know, like stones and stuff around the edge. And you dig a little pit and all that. And that takes a lot of time. And some places don't allow fires like that. Um, but if you've got one of these, you can set a fire damn near anywhere. Now, of course, the bottom's going to get hot. You know, and you still want to have an area around it that doesn't have anything flammable on it. But uh, you got you can use wood if you're around uh, um, a forest or something like that instead of having to rely on fuel canisters or, or fuel. You usually have something that you could burn if you're around anywhere near around a forest. And uh, that'll extend your range. You don't have to carry a lot of stuff with you. And it's pretty cool the way it sits here. I'm I'm gonna demonstrate that later, but in another video. All right, so these both. One is an NO seventy five, and the other is an NV seventy five. All right, they're pretty cool. Now this one has a plastic handle on it, and uh, when you go to pull it, the pull. See how. Normally you get a knife to like, this would be like if you think that one that might have a broken back spring, but it starts getting stronger here and then it just goes kind of limp. There's no little like half spring that's round. And then when you go to pull it back up, you start meeting resistance and then bam, sucker locks in place. And it's got a strong lock up on it. You wouldn't think, oh man, it's, you know, from the way it was acting like that, and when it breaks, it goes to a more like a 45 or something, see? <laughs> Instead of a half. And then it's just limp right here. There's no resistance in it. And there's no pull on it like a spring would have. And you're not getting or anything. Now the resistance is getting harder. It's kind of gritty, you know, going along. But I think you're just feeling the texture of this synthetic material here. Anyway, still not going to guillotine you or anything, see? I like nothing. It doesn't snap yet. Bam. It gets it at the very last. And it's deep enough that the tip's not going to get you. And the pull is... It's, see how it just kind of sticks, though? It, it won't stick, stick back down. Other than that, this sucker's good. I mean, it's not going to close on you. you got a little choil there. We'll weigh them and get the measurements on it. Now, this other one, I think, is olive wood. Of course, it's the Joker made in Spain, Carbon. Now, let me pull this one back for you and show you the difference. See how that one's got a... Eh, it's got a snap to it. You let it go anywhere along there. It doesn't stick. It's got a snap. Then it then it starts grabbing. Uh, goes into a natural... It's not... I looked at the tang. It's not flattened. It goes into a natural, like, 90 degree. You've got a little rotation there. Then you start getting some more resistance. And then, eh, 
Nice solid lockup. Good looking blade. I love a, a drop point, spear point type of blade. This is more of a drop point than a spear point. It's getting close. But yeah, nice olive wood. Man, you can't go wrong with these um, Jokers. The Joker brand. The BPS brand that's out of, uh, is it Ukraine? I don't know if it's Ukraine or Yugoslavia. One of those two. But uh, that that brand is very good also. Funk. See how that's this guy just like, he gets to a certain point and then bam, I'm going, I'm going back, you know. To, but it stops. You know, so if you had your hand here, you'd have felt that. Your finger would have felt that. And then you get about, let's see where it snaps. I'm just trying to come back slowly with it. It reaches one point where it's like, I'm going, you can't stop me. Here, it's starting to break. Eh. Yeah, so. Pretty well center favor on this side, though, a little bit. But I don't, I don't really worry about centering, you know. I'm not even worried about rubbing a blade. These things are designed to be used, you know. So if you get some scratches on it or whatever, as long as it closes, opens and closes, really. I'm pretty easy to... I love this blade shape, man. It's nice and tapered. Let's see if it cuts. All right. The Kennedy assassination. <laughs> it was actually a Spanish weapon that got him. <laughs> don't, don't kill Kennedy, please don't. Sorry. <laughs> History has to go on. Oh, no. Kennedy was cut. Yeah, it cuts pretty, pretty nice. This, this would make a nice... Man, this, bad edge here. This would make a nice, um, give me a better test here. Come on. Come on, car, baby. There's a little roughness there. Could probably use a strappage. See, there's a little bit of nickage there. Let's, let's try and let's kill an eagle. Quack! Come on, come on, baby. That's the chicken got his wing. <laughs> I thought you were tough. <gasps> What are you holding here? An olive branch? I should have been holding a bow for the marrows. <laughs> Sorry, birdie. <laughs> it's turkey time. Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's really good at uh, doing like that. Oops, sorry. Wounded him. <laughs> at least it wasn't Boris. Boris be pissed. You hit me. I don't like... Yeah, either one of these are good knives. Nice. Let's cut, cut with this guy here. Free! <laughs> Until we charge you money. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's good, too. Nice and sharp. It's probably got a better edge than the other one. Though. I was just going to take a little stropping, but I mean, I'm talking about factory edge. Yeah, you could, you could shave hairs with this one. <clears throat> Some kids outside playing basketball. Joker! A bunch of jokers out there. Carbano. So orange is like carbon steel. So you're going to have to um, oil it if you don't want it rusting and stuff. Drop a little mineral oil, something like that, if you're going to use it on food. Um, olive oil will work too. But the handle's cool. You don't have to worry about anything on that except for probably extreme heat. But then if you're dropping your knife and fire, you got other issues. Um, this one's olive wood, and I'm going to put a light coat of olive oil on it because it's nice and smooth. I mean, it feels great, but I just, you kind of waterproof it a little bit because I don't know how porous olive wood is, but if it gets in like a pouring rain, the stuff can swell, you know, and crack. I don't know how these are, but just to be on the safe side, I always like to put a little olive oil on them. and that'll also work on your blade too because it won't hurt you to get olive oil in your food as opposed to some kind of synthetic crap and then maybe slap some kpl in there if you want but yeah it's nicely made man it's got good grain like i said a good blade nice uh, thunk to it either one of these You'd be happy with this one. Feels like a little, you know, flatter. It's got a decent amount of grippage to it. 
These are work knives, though. Either one. These would be work knives. This one you would give to, like, uh, the the regular guys in your crew. And then this one would be, like, the one that's leading, you know, the crew. And then this joker would be, like, El Jefe. He'd be, like, the boss, you know. He'd be the one, like, giving everybody else the knives. Because his is all fancy. <clears throat> but this one is also good, too. This is another joker in olive wood. It's a non-lockback and has a similar blade uh, is different, but it has a similar overall size. Who would this guy be? Mid-level supervisor? I don't know. Yeah, so there's the, the rank of knives, I would say. You know, like, this guy be like the owner. The guy's got the money. This guy be the one that runs the factory. This one or this one? That's bigger. Do we go with bigger or fancier? See, that's kind of fancier. I don't know. Hmm. We're going to say this. This is the order. All right, so you, the regular workers on the team, they get one of these. The supervisor who watches those people, he gets one of these. This is the olive wood one. And then... The plant manager, he carries one around these. This guy's name engraved. He got it at a party for not ratting on the boss. And then the uh, general manager, he only comes in once in a while. He always shows this one off and makes everybody feel inferior. Look at mine. Mine not only has jimping, it's genuine stag horn from a runaway stag that I shot with my rifle. I have it serviced every hundred thousand skinnings. <laughs> keep it immaculate. It's never used. That's how I keep it safe. Never used by humans other than me. Right. Anyway, we'll get off into that. But, yeah, those are pretty cool. Now we have some other knives, but I've gone too long with this one. I just wanted to show you. If you've ever used one of these before, you can leave a comment down there and tell me you know, what you used it on, but that's my imagination. I, I could probably Google it and look it up, but I'd rather figure it out. But, I mean, just, I'm trying to figure it out. It looks like it's designed to cut forward, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and this one, if you're using it as a defensive weapon, you'd hook them with this when you don't want to kill them. But if you want to kill them, you let the blade slip forward. And Oh, we can't talk about that, sorry. These are tools, these are not um, weapons, but in an imaginary land, you know, with uh, somebody actually used one of these as a weapon, that pretty much restricts yourself to that's the only way you're going to cut, which is kind of unnatural. It's not like a reverse grip. A reverse grip on a knife is kind of natural because your hand flows with it, but this one, man, maybe you're something, I don't know. I don't know. It must have a purpose because that's why they designed it, you know? I mean, otherwise, they wouldn't just make this just for giggles, you know? They, usually, this is like a work-related thing. Now, which reminds me, the sickle thing that we had, I used it for when I was a kid for um, grass, for trimming grass, but a sickle shape is really more designed for, like, rice or uh, something that clumps, you know? Like, I don't know, cattails. And uh, it's not as good as, as cutting. Now, something like this would be perfect for a draw cut if the blade was flipped the other way. I mean, you just pull right down. you got a good grip. It's not curved at all. It's like a giant worn cliff. But with this, with it that way, <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much scraping. That's what I'd say. That'd be my guess. I could be wrong and often am. All right, so there. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for... Yeah, this is a really great br uh, brand. If you haven't uh, looked at any of their knives, they're um, usually not a whole lot. This is a sport pocket. Camping and hiking. Nuevo. And yeah, these... Uh, look at this guy. All right, we're going to break it down. i got to break it down. 
people have made it this far. You pull this pin, oh shit, and then it self-destructs. It all folds out, blows up. And it's like a Chinese puzzle, man. You get it all smashed down and figured out. And you get your pin, and you link them all together, and you put them in your little pouch. The Y2400, of course. And you slide it in there. And you got your little Velcro. And there you go. Flat, compact. Don't weigh a whole lot. I'll, I'll weigh it later. I'd say, I'm guessing, it's going to be weird. I'm going to be so off. Less than a pound. Say like three quarters of a pound, maybe. We'll have to figure that out in kilograms. Yeah, so there you go. I've gone too long on this one. I haven't done anything completely silly. I'm not going to add any movies or anything in it, into this. Although I'm working on another one. There we go. We'll go through the range. Went through the range. But yeah, they're cool. The uh, Joker knives are, are pretty good. And I can see Jason using one of these. Rink, 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 rink. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.